Good morning, everybody. It's March 29, 2012. I'm meteorologist Bo Dotson. Let's take a look at the weather observatory this morning. We've got some clouds in the background there. No rain in uh, far southern Illinois or west Kentucky, but we definitely have some clouds around this morning. We look at I-24 and we see plenty of clouds in the background there as well with some traffic on the interstate, but everything seems to be running smoothly right now. We did have some thunderstorms yesterday afternoon, and I told you we might have some hail with those, and we did. We see this picture from some Samantha Stevenson on the WPSD Facebook page of ping pong to golf ball size hail over the Jonesboro, Illinois area. That's some big hail. I'm sure it did some damage. We look uh, did make a couple of changes on the BoDots and Weather Facebook page. I switched over to the timeline, so my comments will be on the left. Your comments will be on the right. You can still ask me questions under the comment section, and I have the ability to pin something to the top now. So when we do the severe weather threads, I'll put those at the top of the page. You can also follow me on Twitter now on the Facebook page. Um, also, you can send me messages. That's another change. All right, let's take a look at temperatures this morning, and we're in the 50s and 60s across our region. Quite a bit of humidity in the air as well. Uh, there is a complex of storms to our north, but right now, uh, not much in our local area. We look at radar and we see that complex of storms over northern Missouri. That should stay to our north, but a few more showers and thunderstorms may develop today, tonight, <clears throat> and on Friday in our area. A couple of those could be on the strong side. Let's take a look at forecast highs for today and you see temperatures into the upper 70s, maybe 80 degrees. We see tomorrow up to near 80 degrees as well. Saturday warm. Look at this warm air building to our southwest. 80s and 90s over Texas and we see that move close to our region with even warmer temperatures on Sunday. Right now I'm thinking Saturday and Sunday will be dry. Can't rule out a shower or a thunderstorm, but I think most of the time the weekend will be dry. At one time we thought Saturday would be wet, but right now we'll see how this goes. We're thinking Saturday and Sunday you'll be able to get your out outdoor activities in. It will be warm, especially for late March and early April. We move ahead to uh, Monday and we see cooler air coming towards us. Now that's going to be a cold front and a strong storm system that may bring us a chance for severe weather on Monday or Tuesday. We're going to have to keep a close eye on that. We look at Tuesday temps and you see they've knocked down into the 60s. Now that's behind the storm system. And then on Wednesday we start to rebound a little bit back into the 70s. Still, every one of those days is producing above normal <clears throat> temperatures. Again, we saw radar. We see the storms to our north this morning. We look at the at the weather map and we see a stationary front over our region. And that's going to meander around us for the next day or two. This is Friday morning. We see a cold front to our west. A warm front has moved through. This will help introduce a better chance of showers and thunderstorms on Friday versus today. And a couple of those storms could be on the strong side, even severe with hail and high winds. Not a tornado outbreak type of situation, but we will keep an eye on it to see if anything changes. There definitely could be a couple of warnings issued. And we move ahead to Saturday and we're thinking again that it will be mostly dry for the weekend. That's what we're hoping at least. Let's take a look at the GFS off rightweather.com. And remember these maps are all viewed or this video is best viewed in full screen mode. Uh, it is taped in high resolution. So we move through Thursday afternoon. We see this along the front, some showers and thunderstorms possibly popping up again. But Friday, maybe a better organized system gets going to our north, which will drag a cold front into our area and produce some showers and thunderstorms. So best chance of rain, bottom line here, the best chance of rain, even though there could be some today, will actually be on Friday into Friday evening. A couple of those thunderstorms could be severe. We'll keep an eye on it. Let me move ahead to Saturday and Sunday. Again, I can't 100% rule out a shower, but I'm thinking mostly dry. And then Monday, watch this area right here. See how that storm system tape shape and starts to deepen now the models are all over the place for where this storm tracks does the low track to our west bringing a better chance of severe weather to our region does the low stay just to our south keeping the best chance for severe weather to our south those are the questions we're going to have to work out over the next few days but the bottom line is pay attention to the forecast for monday and tuesday we could see a severe weather risk introduced to our region going to have to keep an eye on that. Let's look at the Storm Prediction Center. Speaking of severe weather, today's outlook, they've outlined a slight risk to our west. This green area means thunderstorms are possible in our local counties. Cannot rule out a report of hail or high wind uh, similar to what happened yesterday. We move ahead to Friday and we see a slight risk for the Ohio Valley and all this green area's general thunderstorms. Remember, general means not expected to be severe. 
maybe isolated severe but not widespread this could shift around we'll have to see if SPC uh, moves this back towards our way a little bit as well would not be surprised to see a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings on Friday in our region so we'll keep an eye on that uh, nothing expected over the weekend but then look at what SPC did for early next week Monday and Tuesday we're gonna have to keep an eye on this they've already outlined a risk for severe thunderstorms across Texas Louisiana Mississippi Alabama up into southern Missouri this definitely will shift around uh, with future updates, and we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Okay, so the bottom line for today, a few showers and thunderstorms, better chance for showers and thunderstorms on Friday. A couple of them could produce hail and high winds. <clears throat> you can check my Facebook page, Bodots and Weather Facebook page, for more frequent updates and the blog as well. Have a nice day.